Teachers have been called to upgrade to fit into the new system supported by the government of Uganda under the National Teachers Policy. This call was made by Ministry of Education officials during the commissioning of a newly constructed classroom and staff houses at Arua Co PTC. We open this door in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our students that had enrolled in this college was not even half the quarter which was allocated in the college. And this does not only apply to our PTC, it applies to PTCs across the Western region. You go to Rodonga, it has less than half of the students expected to be in that college. You go to Ereki, the same thing. You go to Kaida, the same thing. Now, I was failed at that. I was looking at a situation where, in the future, this region is not going to have teachers. And once there are no teachers, it means our children will not have education. And it means we shall have import from elsewhere. A total of 23 out of the 46 teacher training schools across the country as the national teachers policy is being implemented. So in the restructuring process, the 23 core PTCs are going to be maintained to continue with that role of supporting the in-service teachers, but also to support upgrading of the grade three, the current grade three teachers. Now for the non-core PTCs, they are going to be transformed into other educational institutions. For example, it is government policy that there is supposed to be one secondary school, in government-aided secondary school in every sub-county. So if it so happens that where the core PTC lies, that sub-county does not have a secondary school, then it is likely that such a PTC will be transformed into a government-aided secondary school. And other kinds of institutions as need arises and in line with the government policies. Yeah, it's government commitment to support the teachers to upgrade. And if I just give a scenario that we are all these PTCs have been receiving grants to train pre-service teachers. And such grants can be utilized in and supporting the grade three teachers to upgrade. Dr. Moses Wambi, the principal at Arua Co PTC, commends government for the ten years grace period for the teachers to upgrade. And we hope the grace period to the best of my knowledge seems to be sufficient because this is our last lot the group we have is our last lot and come next early next year we shall be allowing those who have certificates including these students who are finishing now to come for their diploma courses to support teachers let there be a way of supporting teachers in the struggle to upgrade i think that's the best but with the period the period is enough but what is important is support from government. The function commenced with the prayers led by the West Nile and Madi Diocese Bishop, Right Reverend Charles Collins Adako. Bishop Adako also commissioned a renovated church, the Good Shepherd Chapel, at the institute that was burnt down during the LRA war, led by Joseph Kony. Now, I was failed at that. I was looking at a situation where in the future, this region is not going to have teachers. And once there are no teachers, it means our children will not have education. He further disclosed that government, starting with the next academic year. Teachers in the struggle to upgrade. I think that's the best, but with the period, the period is enough, but what is important is support from government. The function commenced with the prayers led by the West Nile and Madi Diocese Bishop, Right Reverend Charles Collins Adako. Bishop Adako also commissioned a renovated church, the Good Shepherd Chapel, at the institute that was burnt down during the LRA war, led by Joseph Kony. The children of God to worship in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Whether in business, whether in farming, whether in teaching, whether in administration, whether as commissioners, as church leaders, make sure to do good works. Just come to your neighbor, tell him to do good works. Bless, please, minus corruption, we will do good work. Bless you. <laughs>
For West Nile Television, I am Mahajub Moose Mill.